Hello, this is Jeff from Jeff's Reviews. Today I'm taking a look at the SRAM Rock Shocks Convertible Shock Pump. This is a high pressure and high volume shock pump. Um, you use it for shocks and tires and other things if you need to. Um, it's mainly meant to carry on a bicycle. I went and got it for a different reason, which I'll show you in a minute. The Rock Shocks Convertible comes with the bike frame clip. It's got a Velcro strap to hold it on the frame, a couple of screws to screw it onto the frame. Um, usually the bike frames have a little spot to put these on. The uh, pump has the detachable gauge. Um, you can use it without the gauge. It's got a little uh, valve right here by the seal. You can lock it on so that it faces either way. Works pretty good as far as if you don't want to have it on, you can put the uh, little rubber plug on there. I'm going to go ahead and put it on and show you how it works. Um, this is actually a espresso, hand espresso ma maker. Um, the uh, Rock Shocks pump comes with the uh, Presta valve adapter and the Schrader valve. Um, Using it with this espresso maker, I need about 200 PSI. And I'll show you. The T handle on this comes open. And then you just, for the high pressure, you just pump it up. And it gets going here pretty, pretty simple, easy. Um, I know uh, I've looked up for shocks, and they take about 100 PSI or so, depending on your weight. Um, to get a little bit of volume pumped up, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the bigger cylinder. And the bigger cylinder you can use a couple of times and it'll help to get the volume up a little bit. There's that 75 or so. There's 100 PSI right there. I'd go more for the espresso maker, but I've seen guys talk about 100 to 120 PSI is about normal for the shock pump, or for the shocks. I'm going to go ahead and release it. There's a little release valve on the bottom here. If you put it in all the way, it doesn't quite get it released enough, so you kind of have to play with the release valve. And I'll go ahead and show you filling up a tire. I've tried out my bike tires. I just brought an inner tube in from outside. I don't want to bring a messy tire in. Um, it took me about... Uh, I went and flattened a tire. Went out and, you know, released the air out of it and then tried to pump it up. And it took quite a few pumps. This is on the, the pump. This is the high pressure low volume then you unlock it and this bigger cylinder is how to do the higher uh, volume but low pressure and you can see the, the tire here it does fill up it does take you a couple hundred pumps to get the tire up to about the 35 or so psi but you can see it's filling it up pretty easily um, because this isn't in a on a frame on a tire with the wheel on it, it fills up pretty quick. With the frame with the uh, rubber tire on it, it would take a little bit more effort, more pumps. But I just wanted to show you how the Rock Shocks convertible air pump works. Does the high pressure and high volume um, works pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's a lot better than these cheap ones I've gotten off of eBay. I went and bought this one from Amazon. This one's pretty cruddy. The seals are pretty bad. I had to add some different rubber O-rings because they leaked. You move the hose around a little bit and it leaks. This one, no pressure loss at all from the hose, from the seals. The Schrader valve works really well. Doesn't release hardly any air at all when you take it off. Just a real tiny bit, maybe a PSI or two in volume. 
not very much at all. So it's a really good pump, very high quality. I'm really impressed with it. And that's the uh, SRAM RockShox convertible air pump. And this is from Jeff's Reviews. Please like us on Jeff's Reviews. Thank you very much.